Hey learners, welcome to my channel guys. In today's YouTube session, we are going to learn top 42 Linux interview question and answer for freshers and for your any interview preparation. Guys, today's lecture is very important for your interview preparation. So now let's begin the lecture. And this your first question is what is Linux? Okay, Linux we bolte hai kuch log. Linux is a Unix based operating system. Guys, Unix multi Unix is a interview question and answer. I have channel for share kiya hai. Ab please us video ko bhi check ki chiga. Okay, and Linux Torvalds first introduce it. Okay, Linux is uh, introduced by Linus Torvalds. Okay. It's an open source operating system that was designed to provide free and a low cost operating system for the computer users. Okay, comparison to Windows. Next question What is the difference between Unix and Linux? This is very important question. Answer is Unix was originally started as a property operating system for well laboratories which later released their commercial version while Linux is a free, open source and a non-proprietary operating system for the mass user. So this is the difference between Unix and Linux. Next question. What is Linux kernel? Answer is Linux kernel is a low level system software. It's used to manage the hardware resources for the users. It provides an interface for user label interaction okay next question is it legal to edit linux kernel answer is yes you can edit linux kernel because it's released under under journal public license means gpl and anyone can edit it it comes under the category of free and open source and open and open source softwares okay so it's possible and legal to edit linux kernel okay next question what is lilo lilo is a bootloader for linux it's used to load the linux operating system into the main memory to begin its operations okay next question what is the advantages of open sources answer is Open source facilitates you to distribute your software, including source code, freely to anyone who is interested. So you can add features and even debug and correct errors of the source code. Okay, so this is the advantages of open source system. Next question. What are the basic components of Linux? Answer is. Just like other operating systems, Linux has all components like kernel, shells, GUIs. GUI stands for graphical user interfaces, system utilities, and application programs. Okay, next question. What is the advantages of Linux? Answer is, every aspect comes with additional features and it provides a free downloading facility for all codes. Okay. Next question. Define shell. Answer is it's an interpreter in Linux. Okay. So what is shell? Shell is an interpreter in Linux. Next question. Name some shells that are commonly used in Linux. Answer is the most commonly used shells in Linux are Vash, VASH, and CSH. Okay. And KSH and BSH. It's not BASH, it's BSH. Okay, guys. Next question. Name the Linux which is specially designed by the Sun Microsystems. Answer is Solaris is the Linux of Sun Microsystem. So, answer is Solaris is the Linux of Sun Microsystem. Next question. Name the Linux loader. Answer is Lilo is the Linux loader. Okay. Next question. If you have saved a file in Linux, later you wish to rename that file, what command is designed for it? So answer is the mb command is used to rename a file in Linux operating system. Next question. Write about an internal command. Answer is 
the commands which are built in the shells are command as the internal commands next question define inode answer is each file is given a unique name by the operating system which is called as the inode okay this is very important question next question if the programmer wishes to execute an instructions at the specified time which command is used answer is the add command is used for the the add command is used when the programmer wishes to execute an instructions at the specified time okay next question explain process id answer is the operating system uniquely identifies each process by a unique id called as the process id okay next question name some linux variants answer is some of the linux commands are first one sent os os here is capital os is in capital next one u12 next one red hat next dvn and next one is fedora okay so they all are the linux variants next question what is swap space answer is swap space is used to specify a space which is used by linux to hold some concurrent running program temporarily it is used when ram does not have enough space to hold all programs that are executing okay this kind of space is known as a swap space next question what is bash answer is bash is a short form of warn again shell okay it was a replacement to the original warn shell written by steve warn okay next question what is the basic difference between bash and dos answer is bash commands are ca case sensitive while dos commands are not case sensitive and next difference between bash and dos is dos follows a convention in naming files in dos eight character file name is followed by a dot and three character for the extension and bash doesn't follow such type of conventions okay so this is the difference between bash and dos next question what is a root account answer is the root account is like a system administrator account it provides you full control of the system you can create and maintain user accounts assign different permissions for each accounts etc okay next question what is cli very important question cli stands for command line interface it's an interface that allows user to type declarative commands to instruct the computer to perform operations okay next question what is the gui answer is gui stands for graphical user interface it uses the images and the icons which are clicked by the users to communicate with the system it's more attractive and user friendly friendly because of the use of the images and icons okay next question which popular office suite in available free for both microsoft and linux answer is open office suite is available free for both microsoft and linux okay just you can install it on both of them okay next question Suppose your company is recently switched from Microsoft to Linux and you have some MS Word documents to save and work in Linux what will you do this is very important question answer is install open office suite on Linux it facilitates you to work with Microsoft documents okay next question what is smtp answer is SMTP stands for Simple Mail Transfer Protocol. It's an internet standard for for mail transmission. Next question: What is Samba? Why it is used? Answer is Samba service is used to connect Linux machines to Microsoft network resources by providing Microsoft SMB support. Okay. Next question: What are the basic commands for user management? Answer is here the list of basic commands for user management in this first one is last next one change 
next chsh next isof next one chown next chmod ch mode means next user add next one user del next one new users etc okay they all are the basic commands for user management next question what is the maximum length for a file name in linux so answer is 255 characters is the maximum length for a file name in linux next question is linux operating system virus free answer is no there is no operating system till date that is virus free but linux is known to have less number of viruses okay next question which partition stores the system configurations file in linux system answer is slash stc partition it stores the system configuration files in linux system next question which command is used to uncompress gzip files answer is gunzip command is used to uncompress gzip files next question why do developers use md5 options on password answer is md5 is an encryption method so it's used to encrypt the password before saving okay this is very important question next question what is a virtual desktop answer is the virtual desktop is used as an alternative to minimizing and maximizing different windows on the current desktop virtual desktop facilitates you to open one or more programs on a clean state rather than minimizing or restoring all the needed programs okay next question what is the difference between soft and hard mounting points answer is in the soft mount if the client fails to connect to the server it gives an error report and closes the connection whereas in the hard mount if the client fails to access the server the connection hangs and once the system is up it again accesses the server okay next question does the alt plus control plus del key combination work in linux answer is yes it works like windows okay next question what are the file permissions in linux answer is there are three types of permission in linux operating system that are first one read okay user can read the file and list the directory second one is write user can write new files in the directory and third one execute user can access and run the file in a directory okay next question what are the modes used in vi editor so right answer is there are three types of mode in vi editor first one regular mode or command mode second one insertion mode or edit mode third one replacement mode or x mode okay next question how to exit from bi editors answer is the following commands are used to exit from bi editor first one is wq it saves the current work and exits the vi editor and next one is q followed by exclamatory sign this exits the vi without saving current work okay next question how to delete information from a file in bi editor answer is the following commands are used to delete information from bi editors first one is x deletes a current character and second one is double d deletes the current line in a vi editor okay next question how to create a new file or modify an existing file in bi editor so answer is bi space followed by file name okay so this is the command for create a new file or modify an existing file in bi editor okay guys now let's find up the lecture see you in the next video thanks for watching this video